where were you when you first started with me and uh, and how does that different than today not really focused just going through the motions in life playing out how things play out now i'm a lot more a lot more focused uh, not on my phone as much i'm doing not what i want to be doing but what i should be doing now i'm getting a lot more done it's making me feel better you know most importantly i'm more productive at work now When you say more productive, how do you mean? Numbers have gone up. I'm doing more for the company and myself as well because we have an incentive program. What kinds of things uh, were you able to change? I know you had some habits that didn't agree with you. Mindlessly scrolling on my phone when I shouldn't be. When I should be either sleeping or since I'm religious, you know, studying the Bible or just studying about the niche of work that I'm in to understand it more fully. How did working together help you with those changes? Having someone like really like ask me about it and like put it in front of me that like it's an actual problem or you don't notice bad habits until somebody tells you it's a bad habit. You didn't tell me it was a bad habit. You made me tell you that it was a bad habit, if that makes sense. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I do ask questions, it's true. Uh -huh. What are you doing differently? Putting together affirmations, journaling more, writing down my thoughts at the beginning of the day, whether it's what I'm thinking at the moment or you know what I wanna accomplish for the day, the week, the month, or you know whatever time frame I choose that morning. You mentioned mindlessly scrolling. What's different now than before the mindless scrolling? Getting up earlier, because I'll admit social media can be like, you know, a, a toxic place rather than waking up and just like, you know, mindlessly scrolling, having that all that toxicity in front of you. I'm actually focusing on good things. You know, what I, like I said before, what I want to accomplish for the day, the week, the month, you know, get to where I want to be in life. Is this something, uh, the kind of coaching you'd recommend to other people? And if so, why? 100% because you know, everyone has bad habits, but like I said before, they don't know their bad habits until, you know, someone either tells them it's a bad habit or gets it out of them. And, you know, when you cut out those bad habits, you can either like, you know, feel better, look at life in like a more positive manner, or you can just like be more productive in like, you know, your life and personal life and your work life as well. Do you think that something like what we've done will make a difference in your future? I definitely think it'll make a difference in my future because putting your goals in front of you and chasing your goals every single day and, you know, you, you see yourself like accomplishing them. And then, you know, of course, when you're writing it, you're in a book you can go back and like look at the beginning and just like you know see how far you've came from the beginning it's only been two months so just imagine where i'd be like you know years from now where do you see yourself years from now successful comfortable a lot less worryful than i was at the beginning uh any final thoughts you might have about the process and working together just be open-minded a lot of people that need help aren't really open to help but then like when you actually have the help in front of you, it's a world of change. It's a big difference. If you or your organization have been thinking about coaching, contact me for a brief discussion of your situation. Coaching is available in person, online, and can be suited to most schedules. To book a 20 minute complimentary discovery session, send an email to coaching at darrenpowers.com or call or text 248-470-8379 and visit my website futurevisionpower.com. Thanks for listening.